It's a totally blank canvas right now. But. Ooh, OG 2.0. We've got some good news, my friend. Today is the day that your transformation begins. But first, boys, let's get a cold start on a really warm, warm morning. Ooh, that fleece to 63 being fed fuel by that 10 millimeter XG CP3. Oh yes, this thing is quite the platform to begin with, my friends. Line up this morning, we've got Jake's LBZ chilling, Convict still waiting on his JTX Forge wheels, and then Sarge keeping everybody in line because this SOB right here is very, very in charge. As I had said in the last vlog, there's a lot of rain in the forecast and the truck is still extremely clean. We're actually going out to do a photo shoot with it later today. Hopefully we can beat the rain, but in that meantime, I don't want to get it all dirty because one of the downsides of that truck right there, if you're the one that's winning it is, it's a lot to clean i'm not gonna lie it is a big big truck and we like to get things clean to perfection and when you're a perfectionist it takes quite a bit of time to get clean so we are not going to be taking sarge to the shop today although i kind of wish that we could we got to really ask that mother nature gets her act in line because all this rain in the forecast although good for my grass not so good for keeping our trucks clean but would you just look at the wrap would you just look at it the color is absolutely unbelievable. In this light, it almost looks like a yellow green. On cloudy days, it is true OD green. I absolutely love it. These black badges all around. The color coordination that was done by everybody that contributed to this thing is just flawless. And I have to say one of my favorite characteristics of the truck, other than this wrap, has to be these massive 33 millimeter spike lug nuts. Wow. Now guys, if you're catching this video on the 8th of June, there's four hours left of 15 times entries. But if you're late and it's after June 8th, well right now you can actually get five times entries for the truck and you automatically get entered for some tech and tools. A lot of really, really good stuff in there. We use Milwaukee on all of our builds and we want to give some Milwaukee back to you guys. Plus there are some tech gadgets in there that you definitely need in your hands. So check out Enthusiast for all those details, my friends, because we are headed to the shop to get the OG 2.0 started. I cannot believe the day is finally here. It is long overdue. What's up, Jake? How much? You ready, ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh yeah, me too. I'm ready. You're I know, dude. It's vicious. <laughs> Looks normal, right? Looks nice and normal. And then you got teething baby side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was pretty excited about his little skid steer. It's pretty dope though. Messix was actually awesome. I brought Jack in the other day. We may or may not have been just, you know, casually looking at some stuff. They're like, oh dude, here, we got one of these for him. And I looked down at him and he's got it chewed apart and there's just <laughs> stuff everywhere. I'm like, all right, buddy, we're gonna have to save that thing for you. Ah, yes, the shop hangs are real, my friends. We just filled up our personal tanks with some burritos, man. It was absolutely fantastic. I wore half of mine. It was that good. So we are in the shop now, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta give huge thanks to this man right here. I didn't even, I thought you were over there still, so I pointed over Whoa, there. Dude. Where'd he go, bro? But Jake actually came in here and did a full clean sweep on the shop. It looks better than it's ever looked. To be completely honest with you guys, we are organized and feeling nice and clean and just in time to make a mess again. Also, <clears throat> if you're interested, the stack off the LBZ, $300 race. Shoot me a message on Instagram. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are swapping out 8-Ball with the LML, AKA OG 2.0. It is going to be such a good day, my friends. Big decal for the LBZ. Pick that up. Yeah. She's meant. That's your favorite blanket. Oh, thank you. Yep. I don't want to misplace that. Wow, you're pretty, pretty quick at that. Dude, you become such a professional at dad things when you become a dad. It's just <laughs> really? Is that how that works? Want to know what else has to come off? This race car. I mean, that can stay. Those. You mean those sick rock bars there, bro? The front ones, literally. They're so bad that you gotta like step forward to use it. Yeah, they're really not the best ones <laughs> ever. And it's good that they're 100% on the chopping block. Oh man. So boys, where do we even start with this thing? It is going to be a completely different truck when we're done with it. The objective with the OG 2.0 build is to do everything that I wasn't able to do when we had initially had 
and built the OG Duramax. Now, a majority of that build was actually done when I had started my YouTube channel. We did some small things. I believe we put an S369 on it. Then we went back to a VGT Turbo, which was the Stealth 64, which was all powder coated frost orange. We did some Whirly Fab traction bars. And then we did those Trax 2214s that we waited forever for. That was kind of like the big mod that really kicked off that truck and exactly what it stood for on the channel. We had changed the tires around a little bit. We went from the 355s to the Fury 33 14.5s. And we kind of just played with miscellaneous things. Had a blast with it and that truck really laid the foundation for the channel. So this time around, our objective is to do the 2.0 where now we have some of the flexibility and the resources to really take things to the next level. It's a totally blank canvas right now. But we have all the paint that needs put on the canvas. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna begin the teardown. We've already identified what color we're gonna be doing with this truck and the build. It's just that we need to take some components off of the truck in order to coordinate the set of colors. Yes, there are two colors that we're gonna be actually doing to complement this build. Today's goal is to get as many things torn off of the truck in an organized sense, of course, because we have to put it back together as possible so that way we can get things to where they need to go to really kind of get yeah, this yeah. process started. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. Yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. We the one. The darkness I rose up, golden my soul is a gold rush. Yeah, yeah. Honor and freedom, my toast up. Kicking game on the snare drum. Hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices. Cut it open, emotions. Spilling like oil and coasting. Therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms. Individually, I heard the voices that told us. Yeah, yeah. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us. Yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But young T prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up and LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us. That only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they all doubt us. Yeah, they doubt us, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, yeah. progress today, efficient progress and neat progress. Jake and I have set a mid-year goal to be slightly more organized in our disassembly because that makes our reassembly that much more efficient. And it makes for an, an entirely more enjoyable process. We very much love the dismantling and reassembling of these trucks, but sometimes we just get so fixated on the, the task at hand, like today, which we're going to talk about, that we end up making a complete mess of the shop. Plus, with the new shop... Oh. However... You guys gotta check out this organization. Yeah, we really pride ourselves on these and we cannot take credit for this. This was actually all kudos to our good friend and Pennsylvania native, Mark DeCola. You are the man. He had suggested these little- Organization trays. Organization trays and they're actually by S&B. They make filters as well. Very rubber, very nice. Very We've rubber. got- <laughs> Very rubber, very nice. <laughs> very rubber, very nice. We've got the bolster. This holds freestanding bolts. Example A, not a plugged advertisement. Then we've got our S&B trays. These are actually all included in the same kit, but we're using this one. And Jake had a wildly genius suggestion this morning. What is this, Jake? What does this symbolize? Right here, we got the front of the truck. You got your driver's side, you got your passenger side, you got your rear passenger side and your rear driver's side. So wherever you take the bolts off of, you place in that corner of the truck, just like that, so you go, oh man, I want to put the ABS brackets back on. Boom, right there where they would be on the truck. Yeah, dude. We are so proud of this, guys. It's like the smallest little improvement that makes one of the biggest differences ever because when you start to do a disassembly like we're doing with the OG 2.0, things start to go a lot of places and we want to make sure that, uh, well, they don't end up where they don't mean to be. So boys and girls, well, you know what? Let's have Jake take us through where we are. Jake, where, where are we at right now, brother? Well, right now we're in the back, but up front we got your upper control arm taken off, your knuckle taken off, and your lower control arm taken off. We got the brake calipers hanging, they're just chilling there, all that's going to powder. Got all the bushings pressed out, looking all nice. You want to show them? I want to show them because I finally broke Jack down enough <laughs> to the point where he got one, and he is so happy that he did because our lives were so much easier. Just a little, little bit of, you know, forced, or Probably one of the best tools. What is it, pre-shadowing? Foreshadowing. Pretense. Pretense. A little pretense for you. <laughs> We used to 
stress our bushings out with this puppy. Oh, this dinosaur, bro. Harbor Freight special, <laughs> like 90 bucks, 20 pound press. And the best part about it is, if you look, it's all tight, right? I'll be here for the next six hours before we get anywhere near the- One eternity later. Anyway, so I finally harassed Jack enough to the point where he broke down and got this. Most of you are gonna be like, oh wow, it's just that. But to us, it's, oh my God, it's, it's that. It's that. This puppy <laughs> right here. The yeah. snap-on ball joint press. That sucker was not cheap, boys. That thing runs $750 from snap-on, but it took a task that estimated on Dream Diesel giveaway number 11 took how long? Probably a good six hours. And worked it down to what? 30 minutes. 30 that, that was with minutes. A casual break. We pushed out all the bushings out of this lower controller, and there's three of them. One here, one there, and one there in legitimately 30 minutes. I think that's my, that might even be rounding up. Yeah, and that was because Andy stopped in and we had a little conversation. And... Yeah, yeah so like, small little powwow in between. Yeah. We got to have a powwow and still efficiently. And actually it wasn't like, the powwow wasn't really fueled by frustration either, which is no, good. No, that's what I was going to say. It wasn't an angry powwow. It was like, hey man, how are you doing? Yeah. It's like, dude, we're so happy right now. This is fantastic. Which brings us back to the truck. So we've got the entire front end taken apart, including including bumpers, headlights, and grill. We've got two major part category groups over there. We're gonna have to tell you why a little bit later. We've got pretty much everything dismantled here on the front end for now, but there will be some further disassembly that we'll be getting into, just not in this video. The grandpa steps still remain. I know a lot of you guys love them, but yeah, they're, they're uh, we'll just, let's save that for another conversation. And we are working on the back. We got the taillights up. Third brake light has been removed. Bumpers off, tailgate bezel is off, badge is off, Silverado LTZ adhesive remains but letters have been removed we've got the trailer hitch off we've got a nice pile of stuff over there going to another specific place aka powder coat and now we are working on the finally on the finally disassembly on the finally disassembly of the front <laughs> yes of our axles we are in fact taking the axle off of this truck you can see the drive shaft has been disconnected we are dropping the u-bolts out leaf springs are coming out axles coming out because boys og 2.0 is legitimately going to an entirely new level with powder coat i am so unbelievably excited you guys have no idea Gotta give a huge shout out to our friends over at Cove. Today is not a sponsored video, but we do put these speakers to use. These things sound absolutely awesome and we had them right next to our job. So I'm sorry guys that I couldn't film the work that we actually did to remove the axle and the leaf springs, but because my camera over there is actually dead, we went through three batteries just getting all that time-lapse footage, but I, it was 100% worth it because I did not want you guys to miss out on any of the steps. We are taking the OG 2.0 legitimately to the next level on all of the trucks that we've built on this channel. We have never never once done anything to the axle other than just repainted them black because it really dresses up the undercarriage of the truck. But this time, in true compliment to carry on the legacy of the OG, we are going as far as the axle on this thing, the knuckles, the leaf springs, and everything else you guys see right here. And I am so unbelievably excited about it. It's great to see this truck apart because that means that progress is being made. I really wanted to actually do this build in the new shop. Optimistic me said that it was going to be possible but the realist in me right now says we don't even have a building yet so we had to do this one down here but this very well could be one of the last truck builds that we do down at the current shop because enthusiast world headquarters version three could be right around the corner and it seems like we're making really really good progress yes my skin color is slightly darker it is shop hangs you guys can see that right there but i'm honestly not as exhausted as i am after most days working on the trucks just because of how efficient everything went today i know we harped on that a few times in the vlog but really it's something that we genuinely pride ourselves on because we both and we all collectively should live by that motto work smarter rather than harder sometimes you just run up against tool constraints but we finally got the shop and our collection of tools up to the standards of our needs and that feels so unbelievably good jake's catching up on his instagram he loves you guys following him he's been loving the love loving the support all right boys and girls that's where we're gonna wrap up this upload we got so much done today i'm just completely blown away and so proud of jake and i you got to give yourself a little bit of credit where credit's due and that 
This assembly was easily one of the most efficient and fluid ones that we have ever had. And we kept the shop clean. That is part of our mid-year resolution. We do really clean builds, as you guys know. That's why you stay tuned to these videos, but we haven't really done the best at keeping the shop clean. And the goal in life is to continuously improve because stagnancy is the enemy. Remember that, my friends. That's a quote that I swear by. So that being said, guys, grab your 15 times entries for Sarge if they're still available. And if not, well, you might have to click that link below to see what else is available because you might like what you're gonna find. It's time to clean up the shop.